joining in and please like and subscribe i know i haven't been on here for a while so my name is Nina palachi welcome to my channel and at the moment i'm at the seaside in brighton recovering and stuff like that i know life happens anyway you know what i mean but it's all learning lessons so <clears throat> I have been productive anyway, nevertheless, my wrist is healing and had a great nature walk today, it's amazing and yes, so I wanted to read you bits and books out of my book. I printed it out because <laughs> this is the beginning, do you want to get it to the beginning again? Why not, right? It's in here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's July 26, 1997. I'm on the train to Berlin and I'm super excited. I've just left my great childhood love, Sasha. We broke up a thousand times anyway. He insisted on coming to the train station. Yes, this hot guy is waiting for me, whom I met by chance two weeks ago. At the love parade in Berlin at the Breiti, Breitscheidplatz. When I wanted to arrange something to smoke, like weed with my dear mate, honey. But since then, I've got, no, I had paged him. It was back in the day when we had pages, remember? Yeah, and Tom Tom. This hammer horny guy is already 26, so fully mature and so on. I also have my school reports and stuff like that. My gut plaster shouldn't be missing. A few CDs and my MCs. That was the good old days, right? I'm sitting in a modern train compartment with a couple of ladies of different ages. I'm the youngest. My clothes, carhartt pants, dark blue, white t-shirt and flurry short top you know like in the 90s always just super girly well that's me hpm over sorry <laughs> hpm arri 8 p.m arrival at the zoo i don't know my way around at all i have a huge orange suitcase with shitty wheels in it they are useless at all. A large travel bag, my ghetto plaster, my backpack that my father gave me, and that's it. One of the ladies from the train compartment helps me, and I put my huge case and travel bag in a locker. Then I start looking for the right subway. I understand I have to get the U7. Yes, I'm a bit nervous, to be frank. Don't let me tell you, junkies lurk everywhere at the zoo, so I hold my things tight. In no cone, I got off the wrong place and asked someone on Karl Marx Straße, Karl Marx Street, sorry, Karl Marx Street, who said to me, completely worried and taken aback, Girl, don't walk around here and get on the subway. Go on, one more station to the town hall. Off no can. So I'm a bit shattered. So I do that too. Yes, and now I'm looking for the Weichsel Street. Proper no can, I tell you. It's right on the corner of a Turkish kebab shop. Tom's hut is at the very other end of the street, and of course it's completely dark there. Great. But Tom suddenly comes towards me. I thought I wouldn't come, he thought I wouldn't come anymore. Well, that was just some time before the smartphone era, wasn't it? Nowadays, unthinkable. So Tom's flat in Nikon was a sexy Rastafarian <laughs> with a Berlin dialect accent. Sweet. Your pop, very decent guy. <laughs> I mean, I always met very decent guys, you know what I mean? 
between you learn your lesson or you don't I do you know what I mean I do and I'm grateful for all the lessons I mean nowadays you know I have a sorrow look on people you know it's different because you know you have your experiences and stuff like that I'm also very happy but with myself you know and I'm creative I've lots to do and yeah some unnecessary things in between when you know some haters wants to hold you off and stuff like that and put their messiness on you you haven't even asked for you know you don't want to have anything to do with this it's their mess not mine you know what I mean I totally understand so the apartment was in the second backyard and the side wing on the first floor. It was a cheap run-down flop house as an apartment. The kitchen wasn't actually a kitchen anymore. Since the kitchen cabinets weren't built together anymore, it was pure chaos. Not a kitchen like that, I'll show you. That's a hell of a kitchen with great win windows. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? Anyway, where was it? Chaos, yeah? Kitchen. Okay, there was a stove and a fridge. And I also remember the smell. Yes. Yes, and a very small bathroom called a wet area and a separate toilet. Or loo, how they say in England. The hallway was relatively wide. A typical Berlin side wing, one room apartment with a from the 90s, I mean the old buildings from the 1910-ish, 1920s. Old bedding, a mattress with noodles through, a cheap old chest of drawers from a furniture store made of wood chips in a dirty beige, a large round table and two chairs. That's it. There were also curtains, also very typical for this type of backyard apartment of a stoner, which he was, but he was so sexy. He was mixed way, Rastafari, with a Berlin, with a very strong Berlin accent. By the way, that was the first thing we did, smoking a big jump. We then babbled at each other and it both show off and then made out wildly. I mean, it was July, you know? You know, nice in July and stuff like that. I had a crush on him, I have to say. I really thought he knew about the world and stuff. It was really hot and sizzling and it had rained all of a sudden and, you know, all that. And it was really romantic and stuff but I was also pretty squeamish mm. yes it was great because Tom had to go because he had a girlfriend and all that which was strange a pretty Iranian with kids and kin and all the trimmings I was terribly I was terribly terribly jealous also because I thought the lady must have looked super hot as an Iranian, you know, and a bit more mature. Whereas I was so inexperienced and fresh from the countryside, like a pure country app. Or well, a good app. Anyway, I was just blood young through and through and such. Over the weekend, I went to Alex, called Alexanderplatz. It's right in the middle of Berlin, where you see that big TV tower. They call it the TV tower. There's even a nice restaurant upstairs and turns around. It's worth going there when the weather's nice. Even in the evening, you know, I like city lights and stuff like that. Anyway, so I had a salad in the bistro next to Burger King, which still exists, you know. And then I was a little overwhelmed. So the Burger King is still there and the bistro. And next to the bistro, since a few years, is also a primer. 
but back in the days it was internal. <laughs> anyway, so I had zero orientation from after the first weekend. Also, I have to say, I wrote because I wrote free. I write freely. I, I put a lot of stuff like that and stuff, you know, these fillers. Yeah. But I think I should drop them a bit, you know, when I really edit a book. I mean, I have 255. 255 pages now in English and in German. Mm. So, from after the first weekend, I had to think about something concrete where and how to get money because I just had 100 Deutsche Mark. Then I started my way home from Alexander Platz and I bought that salad, you know what I mean? And cigarettes, you know, and beer, you know. Yeah, Monday. Monday. Let me check. The 129 bus from Panier Street to Kudam, Kurfürstendam. I already. I already knew myself a bit about this area because of the love parade and stuff like that. Then I asked around a little bit about jobs. A good half an hour later, I landed a direct hit at an Ashina as a plate taxi, like a runner. But they call it plate taxi there. I was then allowed to start one or two days later, but I was really a bit too slow. I was really, really insecure and I was a little bit too much of a stoner as well <laughs> and a bit overwhelmed from the big city and everything you know but I wanted to do it right um <laughs> so I had just hopped out of the nest at home for a few days alone out into the wide world then a few days later I had another job at a buffalo shoe store I asked at the lower Kudam about the guy who looked so good and blonde with blue eyes and he immediately had a positive answer for me, namely he had a job for me in his father's shop down in Leeds and Bulbrook Street, it's a parallel street, it's next to Olivier Platz. But the old man had a face like a toad, no, like a lizard hardly any hair on his head, thin lips and such a funny old round glasses. One of my first main tasks was keeping the shop in a good shape. For instance, cleaning and dusting and the old man was constantly getting horny because of my presence and my red hair. Yeah, it's a big thing. I need to go so yes after a while I was allowed to slowly approach the sale I had gorgeous red hair I think everything is buff you know that currently it came out that locations are buff so hi guys, so now I'm outside, oh sorry there was an interruption, um, yeah I had to get a bite, so um, i show you shortly, great, it looks amazing, that's amazing no? <laughs> yeah no, um, I want to be very committed again with my YouTube but you know sometimes things happen and you have to go through that and it's a big learning lesson and I see now and the picture gets clearer why things happen why do we need certain people um, why do we, do we get this and this BS in front of us thrown because we have the option to say yes 
to say no, to say I had enough. Um, but nevertheless, what I wanted to say, long story short, don't give up. And funnily, on TikTok, even YouTube, there are so many interesting videos and about narcissism. Also, then I checked this week about perverted narcissism. There's a lot of different uh, versions of narcissism. For instance, my mom and my granny, they were um, shadow narcissists. So, narcissists of most of the time they don't want to look into their own issues they, they twist they do a lot of mind BS fuckery but you know if you stand up to a narcissist they really don't like it but on the other hand you're fucking not boring for them and the other thing is which I face at the moment with uh, the person that at the moment I live but it comes to an end now luckily <clears throat> but I'm seen as the property which I'm definitely not I'm my own person I mean you know no one ever had the ability to control me you know <laughs> it's literally impossible I have to check the camera here it's honestly it's, it's like I I never fit it in any box which is great and that's the part I always love liked about myself. I think I put the camera here. That's good. Let's do it like that. So yeah, I had a lot of struggles last couple of months. A lot of betrayal. And there's something going on in the world. I spoke to a lot of people around the world. And it's like a big shift going on, you know? The dirt and the dust comes up. Karma is kicking in quicker. Uh, you know, and I'm not playing God or anything, you know? I wish everyone well. And I, I practice like kind of a free Buddhism. Yeah. And I have seen in the last four years I had so much going on and like a lot of haters and betrayal but especially these people and stalking they could not understand that no matter what they tried you know I stand up again I smile and not just putting a smile on my face no it's from inside like I walk through the day with dignity but that doesn't mean that I had my dark days, you know, like yesterday I was like completely emotional. But even crying and acknowledging, um, I've had, acknowledging the, um, acknowledging the um, pain, the sadness, I think that's very important. So I have to see what this exact thing was. So before I read about 9K, right? I have that in the previous one. It's just great. I printed out what I wrote. This is a different quality, you know, because I have to have pen. Oh, look, this is one of my first designs. Yeah, not bad. You can get, you see it down in the, uh, below in the link. It's, um, the red bubble shop. Should I tell you about Chris Lowe shortly? The chap chapter sixty three. Did I talk about that before? I think I did, didn't I? Yes. Oh, there he is. You want one? Um, you know what? I want to do some funny stuff. 
because there were some chapters also where I was like writing the last two months they were like um, there's a lot of you know person stuff in that book is what I'm writing I'm writing a book with a story about Berlin and it was partly with I mentioned friends and it was the hard one of the hardest time in my life you know like not about betrayal about losses about grief so chapter 68 bondage barbies so behind me is the beach by the way um they say everything will be fine it will be all right in the end it doesn't feel that way right now because i feel empty and Zandra and Chris are both gone and everything else feels like a stale substitute. I'm also having a lot to do with Olga again at the moment, my former roommate. She lives around the corner on Kreuzberg, at the end of the Engelsbecken on the fourth floor in an old building, these typical old Berlin buildings. Somehow I've got something half quite intimate going on with her. Yeah, there was always something. Um, although, you have to be careful with Olga because she's really into sex and can quickly catch something. And I'm very sensitive. And I don't think that's funny to catch some STDs. My current highlights are Salomon Harris and our two person band. We call it the bondage Barbies. We laugh and quack a lot, and yet it's really great with him. Everything else just feels like a stale substitute. We know that face, these kind of faces. I mean, today I feel the first time in weeks. I mean, I did a lot of, you know, effort, priority into self care, a, a certain meditation which was suggested to repeat that meditation minimum like 56 days it's a body scan meditation on inside timer it's a very good app for meditations and then my yoga and self be swimming and you know all these kind of things but it helped me also that new newest book from Wanda Byrne the secret about relationships health and wealth and I'm just reading it again you know because there was some not so great news um, I just took it then very sober and I was just thinking oh sorry for the noise I was just thinking you know what I'm just working through that book again and again you know and I inhale it like every inch in me you know and it feels good because even today you know I woke up I probably have haven't had like 48 hours which is okay sometimes you know not to have eight hours but I meditated on my coffee and stuff you know went a bit to my gratitude list, you know, and, and, and read like a couple of quotes in that book and it immediately boosts my frequency and your whole day starts differently then. And then I had an unexpected, beautiful nature walk. Because I went out for a walk I didn't expect to find like um, a big nectar resort where I was heading to and that really caught me by surprise in a very good way and it was fantastic you know it was fantastic that's about it you know seeing the beauty and in life yeah and that book is a great reminder even with relationships for narcissistic bastards you know I mean, they exist, you know.
But there's always, especially today, I read what, there was one quote, like, there's in every single relationship, even the baddest one or the most complicated one, there's always a golden thing to find if we really look into it. And I, I saw that in my past when I was stuck in certain work situations and stuff and really didn't want to do that anymore. And I went through these books. It was a book from S. Century Hicks. And the, 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 sorry, the suggestion was to see only the blessings in that current job situation and, and, and what you're grateful for. Because only like that you can change your circumstances and attract and manifest better ones. And that's kind of true. But I think as we, you know, we have a human brain and there's like so many influences and stuff like that. Um, we need to be reminded. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, yeah. My current highlights are Salomon Harris, bless him. They were two person bands. As everything else just feels like a stale substitute. I like that phrase, feels like a stale substitute without wanting to devalue any, anyone. But these gaps that Sandra and Crystal have left behind are already very, very deep and can't just be replaced like that. I'm important. Oh yeah, can't, uh, can't and can't just be replaced like that. There were two very valuable friends for me. They were real and concrete every day. It's true though. They showed me that I'm important to them. With Salomon, we do a bit more pop tunes, and Salomon into Vivian Schmidt, a porn star. <laughs> and I recently had a meeting with a Vivian who wants to make it big in the porn industry. And Salomon was so excited, no, no kidding, he was so overly excited. Let's go ahead. Um, and asked me if it's Vivian Schmidt. I had actually no idea what he was talking about and so I say yes for now you know it knocked what? it knocked his socks off I also have a bad conscience but other others go there well no 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 it, it knocks my socks off no sorry that's a mistake in the writing no. Oh, the mistake here. Oh, just a sec. That's the thing when you print out. Oh, it's maybe in the front. I'm so sorry. But anyway, so I tell it like that. So, uh, <laughs> and then we um, we created a song with a holographic refrain, with a smoky voice, like a pop song, like, like you know, the easy listening thing, you know, which really sticks with you. And the refrain was... Ich blase für mein Leben gern. <laughs> Which means... I love to suck for my life. <laughs> like sucking dicks, like low jobbing. If I may say it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I don't necessarily, but you know. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, my hair. It's so soft and <laughs> Anyway, and yeah, so that was our fun song. We were so proud. Very, very proud. Very proud. <laughs> so proud. Yeah, so, um, Margie, the pre high priestess, just dropped a bombshell this morning. Was it this morning or yesterday? She also said something about Nafu. That was interesting. And I love her quote. If God hired me, who's going to fire me? Exactly, you know what I mean? Um, no weapon formed against me. That should God's part. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found out. That was so great. There was a rapper on TikTok. I think there's more um, musicians there now, which is great. And they have this... You know, rap is very, like, like dirty. I mean, not dirty, dirty, but you know, pornographic language and stuff, but gangster, da, 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 and tits, and you know, nipples, you know, and all, all that. But this rapper was singing literally affirmations. Like, you see, we, it was a completely different vibration. It was so lovely to listen to her and to watch her, you know. And I thought, yeah, exactly, why not this way? It's new it shouldn't be so new you know what I mean um, but there's a lot of change I guess also about the consciousness that actually you know our thoughts and feelings you know and what we create and manifest and I mean I have even to remind myself multiple times a day where I hold stop and hold on and think oh I actually you know my language was quite complaining you know so I try to say differently yeah so anyway I leave it there I'm going dancing now and yeah thank you for joining and hey you know please like and subscribe help me to grow my channel which would be so lovely and check out my merch check out my merch on my Shopify web or my website or on Redbubble you know if you want to get in touch with me if you want to have like um, personal creations get in touch with me we can arrange something you know what I mean as long as we're here for each other, you know? Anyway, lots of love. I need to do my hair. You remember, star, seed. Oh, I like this one. All encompassing love shines through me. All encompassing. It's an encompassing love shines through me. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm a love magnet. I'm a money magnet. Money comes easily. Money comes fast. <laughs> money stays with me and I'm growing it that it lasts. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm so grateful. I also started to uh, a new painting series in between. I mean, I if you see it in the other videos or even on Instagram I have also kind of I'm a pop-up artist um, but at the moment I did something else <laughs> a completely new technique I squeezed color tubes it was acryl acrylic color I just squeezed it that was already free and then I waited and I watched the other day and after that I started to take stuff out of it and the main quote is God sets you free God is love yeah and I 
love the color yellow. Look at these houses. It's like so nice, isn't it? So nice. So utterly nice. Anyway, I leave it there. Lots of love. See you soon.